hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing some decorating in our family room to get ready for Christmas. So if you want some kind of traditional but with a little flair, farmhouse style of decorating inspiration, stay tuned. Just come in to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times So if you are new to my channel, my name is Logan And I upload new home-related and budget-friendly videos Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday afternoon This is my first video of my Christmas decorating series We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. We moved into our 1902 Craftsman home over the summer, and I have been looking forward to decorating this house for Christmas since we moved in. So I am starting in the family room, and in this room, I wanted to use more of my kind of like traditional ornaments and use some traditional Christmas colors, but I also wanted to add that kind of wow element by incorporating some animal prints and some statement pieces along with my traditional colors and my farmhouse ornaments. So I kind of did a different theme for each room of our house. So this is kind of like my traditional farmhouse room. So if you are looking to decorate your tree and more of like a farmhouse style, you will really like this video. get a lot of comments and messages like on social media asking if I could give anyone just like a couple of tips for decorating their own trees or how I do my toppers, different questions like that. So I'm going to kind of talk through and explain what I'm doing as I am doing it. I always start by, of course, setting up the tree. You might have to move some furniture around and take some furniture out, some things like that, before you put your Christmas tree up. I had to do that in a couple of different spaces. I had to rearrange some furniture to put my trees where I wanted them. But first, you're going to set your tree up, obviously, and definitely take your time fluffing and kind of spreading out all of those branches in your tree to give it a full look. Also, if you need to add lights, go ahead and do that. And then as far as decorating goes, the very first thing that I always do is work on the topper. This is just kind of what I like to do to set the tone for the rest of the tree. Also, it's really easy to break ornaments if you put the ornaments on first and then work on your topper. So I like to work from the top down and I just use lots of different picks and sticks. I've even put florals in the top of a tree. Just whatever goes with the feel of your tree and your theme, you want to incorporate those things and those colors and things that you are drawn to. I like to do really dramatic toppers, so I stick tons of picks into the top of every tree that I do. And then after I get the top how I like it, I like to put a bow. And all of my bows, I'm reusing them from past years, but I do like to pick up a new ribbon or two each year. And what I will do is just add like a little loop tail bow to the center of the bow that I used before to incorporate some of my new ribbons with the bow that I already have on hand. 
So that is what I did here. I just added some velvet emerald green and also some leopard print ribbon into the red and white bow that I used on my farmhouse tree last year. And then after you get the top how you want it, I like to go through and put ribbon. I like to cut my ribbon into strips. You can do these strips a little bit longer if you have a larger tree or you can go about six inches is kind of a good standard size to kind of stick throughout your tree and give it that look of ribbon being like put in between all of the branches but it saves ribbon instead of starting at the top and weaving ribbon all the way through your tree. So after I cut strips and stick ribbon into my tree, I like to do loop tails and I will kind of show you how I do those later on in this video and I will also share it in later videos. But I do little loop tails throughout and then after I have tons of ribbon on my tree, I will go in with my ornaments and I also love to incorporate like bottle brush trees or small signs. So think items that wouldn't typically go on the tree. I like to think outside the box and use some of those as statement pieces. So on this tree, some of my favorite pieces are like my little red car ornament near the top that says I'll be home for Christmas. And then I stuck like a little deer and some bottle brush trees and some other little signs throughout. So think outside the box, get really creative with your topper, add some items to your tree that you might not normally add, such as small signs and bottle brush trees. And then of course, like I tell everyone, I love to use tons of ribbon. So I hope these tips help. Watch the video to see kind of how I incorporate these items and how I actually decorate my tree. And I will be sharing a lot more videos like this, so make sure you subscribe below. Yes, I am on my way We'll put our differences aside And just enjoy this moment of peace and love and happiness We come together to celebrate Yes, every time the snow is falling down And it is cold outside We gather around the fireplace And no one cares about yesterday
is my mind I'm all for a good start I hear those jingle bells People singing about love It feels like I'm a kid Like I'm forever young And that's why I wanna sing about The Christmas on its way A reason to hang around And celebrate this day Everyone's smiling And it's snowing It's the time of year again I'm happy you're here My winter wonderland I'm walking around making small talk with People that pass me by I share a laugh, it gives me joy That everyone's having a good, good time I hear those jingle bells People singing about love It feels like I'm a kid Like I'm forever young that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. I like to decorate my trees and get my house decorated for Christmas super early so that I can keep adding to it and switch things up and get it perfectly how I want it before Christmas. Especially with us being in a new house, I've really swapped up some things and had to add things to my decor that I did not do in the other house. So I just wanted to give myself enough time and not be stressed. Another tip that I want to give is if you decorate as heavily as I do or you have several different rooms that you decorate, I like to decorate one room at a time and start early to give myself plenty of time and options. Also, a lot of these items will sell out quickly, or if you are ordering items, shipping might take a long time. So another reason to start early, but I have already added stuff to this tree and to this room. So it's super important to hit the red subscribe button and stay tuned for my Christmas home tour if you want to see how everything completely came together and turned out because I love to share decorating videos and kind of show you the process, but I always end up adding things and changing things before my home tour. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on my Christmas home tour in a few weeks. Holidays and cheer But now I got my eye set on you oh, I'm not gonna play it safe It's going down on Christmas Day Cause I'm trying to tell you in every way Yeah, I'm trying to show you but somehow
your town People had a certain walk and a certain frown Steady and heavy Or younger than twenty Get your way Useful tricks Once you get the taste of it You lay all them bricks Higher and higher You'll reach your desire that you enjoyed today's video please leave it a thumbs up if you did and comment below and let me know when you are going to start decorating i really hope that this video gave y'all some ideas tips tricks and inspiration for your own personal christmas decor make sure you subscribe below because i will be sharing tons more christmas content every monday wednesday and friday from now until christmas including my christmas home tour i hope you all have a great week thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time it's never